Hey everybody, it's uh, Kevin Grady here from the Gospel According to Music as we do another Bible review. Today's review is on the CSB Everyday Study Bible from Holman. Now, first of things I want to share about this is that this is like a scaled down version of the CSB Study Bible. So let's bring in the Study Bible. And as you can see, this thing is pretty good size. There's a CSB. Now let's put them on top of one another. And as you can see, big difference. Basically, the Everyday Study Bible is the exact same thing as the Christian Standard Bible, except it's changed. One of the things they did is they kind of reduced some of these things in there. For instance, the center references are gone. The text here has been spread out to where it fills in here. And the notes, as you can see all the color in here, all the color is gone. The notes have been scaled down as well. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. There's some, some personal information in there. My studies stuff and my bookmark. It's a paper liner. It's one of these um, leather touch covers. There's a cross there that's in this. There's a brown one as well. I didn't like the brown one as much, but uh, this one's kind of nice. And uh, it's a little stiff in opening. I do use it from time to time, but this is the Everyday Study Bible. Pages are kind of sticking on me. As you can see, it's from 2018. There's the introductions to all of the books. Sorry, these pages are just wanting to stick together. There's the books in chronological or alphabetical order, rather. Introduction to what it is and how they've changed it. As you see, the color pictures are now black and white. And uh, this kind of explains how they do the Old Testament, bolding it. There is some essays and introductions. I don't know, I guess maybe it's because it's so dry with the uh, weather being so cold and everything being so dry, the papers just do not want to turn. And I am not one of these that licks my fingers and then does it with the page because what happens is it wrinkles the page. I don't like doing that, but my wife does it from time to time and it's crazy. Right now I want to do it to get these to separate. Okay, so we got all kinds of contributors here. Here are some of the essays and who contributed to the different essays that are in here. There's some more there. The illustration and the charts character profiles, and 99 essential Christian truths. Now, this was originally in the Gospel Project Bible that was done in the Holman Christian Standard Bible, but they put it into this to give it some extra information that's different from just the CSB Study Bible. As you can see, there's all kinds of information, Christ as priest, baptism, Miracles, Evangelism, Discipleship. Then it comes over here and gives you some more information about the CSB, how it was translated. Wow, I cannot turn these pages. They just do not want to turn for me. Sorry, guys. Bible in three acts, God's plan for all people, God's covenant uh, people, and the new covenant people. Then you've got the Old Testament. And then we kind of get into the introductions of the Pentateuch. There's a couple of pages there of information. Genesis introduction. And then here we go with the first page of Genesis. There is the first of 99 essential Christian truths. And there's your notes. The three columns are still there, but they're in black and white instead of color. And here is your essays, the articles. As you can see, there's more space here because of the 
center column being gone. The notes and information are still here, but your uh, center references are no longer there. Now I'm going to flip this over and kind of go into the New Testament. There's an introduction to the Gospels and Acts. I'm so tempted to lick my fingers. <laughs> I can't do that. I don't like that. But this is, they are just really hard to turn. If there was more humidity in this room, I'm sure that they would turn better. But they, it's so dry, it's just not doing it. And then here is the beginning of Matthew. The text and all the notes down at the bottom. Pretty much the same, you know, throughout. One thing I want to go all the way to the back because last time I did a review, somebody said you didn't um, you didn't show the maps. Which, frankly, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I'm not that big on maps. They're okay. There's so many maps and illustrations throughout the. Um, excuse me. I'm going to have to use my other hand to get this to flip. But here is the what happened to the apostles, a breakdown of what happened to them. There's some more information about how they came to be or how they wound up being martyred. Table of contents and measures, the concordance. And then when you get all the way back to the back. Sorry guys, this, they, this is just really sticking. There are some uh, breakdowns of how to read the word in a year. There are some different uh, plans that you can go with. 52-week uh, scripture memory plan. Uh, the harmony of the Gospels. As you can see, it's got all kinds of information. And then here are your maps. And then this is a paper liner. It is sewn, so you don't have to worry about it falling apart, pages uh, disappearing over time. So this is a really good, if you don't want to get the CSB Study Bible or you want something that's easier carried to church, I would highly recommend and there's a cross there on the spine. I would highly recommend getting the Everyday Study Bible. Sorry for the dry pages and it not flipping very well, but there you go. That's the information about that Bible and gives you an idea of what it's like.